Okay, let's dive in a little deeper on assigning a quiz using Google Forms. If you want to see the basics of this, please view the video Uploading Assignments on Google Classroom, and that will show you the um, initial basics of this process. And this video is going to go in a little more detail. So I'm going to go add a quiz assignment. I'm going to go ahead and give it a name. instructions give it a due date so it's going to automatically create this form for me when I click create quiz so I'm going to click on that and it's going to open it up so I'm operating in Google Forms right now Question one, I'm going to fill in all the questions and answers. Answer key, I'm going to make this question worth two points. I'm not going to give any feedback per question. And I'm going to make all of the questions required so they cannot skip any. So there are all sorts of question type options here. So you just select that there. Make it required and choose the number of points. And because it's an essay question, I'm going to make it worth four points. And then I'm going to add one more question. I'm going to call that a true-false. And it's worth two points. So now I have a ten-point quiz. Now before this is actually going to be accepting responses, I need to click Responses. And I have accepting highlighted, so it's open, but I need to create the spreadsheet so that those responses have a place to land. So I'm going to click on this green dot, the green square, create spreadsheet. I'm going to give it a title, quiz two responses, create. Now it's opening up, so this is going to be in my teacher um, Google Drive. And this is where it's all going to land. It's going to have the timestamp, the score, and the question number. Go back. Now that's all saved. It's automatically saving for me. I can click here to preview it. And I could copy this link and send it out to whomever. And it says quiz two. That's the quiz I created. It's been assigned to two people. And I can go here, click on that too, and I'm just like I was on the Google Docs assignment. I am in here looking at the inner working of the assignment, and I can import the grades straight into my classroom. I can view each student's progress, whether they've attempted it. Um, these are just a sign they have not attempted the quiz yet. And I can go back here and edit anything I need to and add comments. So those are, um, that would be the next step on uh, just the basics of creating quizzes using Google Forms. So I'll show you in another tutorial how to collect the grades from those quizzes.